Hi everyone, this is Marie Elaine and I have this week's um, message from the universe for you. So if you did not see the, um, the choices which I upload every Friday on my Facebook page, we had a group of three cards. Um, so we have the, what are they, <laughs> the Chakra Insight cards, we have the Energy to Santa Taylor Energy Oracle card and we also have Colette Baron Reed. So there's one card per choice. I mean, sorry, there's three cards per choice. So, and you can either um, think of a number one, two, or three, left, middle, right, um, whichever one you resonate with. And I'll allow you a few moments just to let the universe guide you to one of those choices. Again, one, two, or three, as simple as that. We'll start off with, with one in a moment before I do. Thank you to those uh, of you last week who actually ventured into my um, my Etsy store. I, I could see I had a few visitors from YouTube, so I really appreciate that. Um, just visitors to the store will actually help with um, the algorithms and the rankings. Oh my goodness, what a complicated um, <laughs> what a complicated process it is to run an Etsy store. It's not just uploading your products, but anyway, there's a huge science behind it. I'm enjoying the learning curve, so that's that's all that matters. And Shilpa, thank you for commenting on my video last week. I'm going to prepare a spe special message just for you, and I'll message you via Facebook to um, let you know when it's ready. And if anyone would comment on my YouTube or on the Facebook page, you know, I'll randomly select a, a name and I will do a message for you next week. Okay, here we go. So if you were drawn to the choice one, or left as it was put up on the um, Facebook page. Here are your three cards. Now we're starting off with the, the chakra card and this is a beautiful card. This is your intuition, you know, trust, insights, awareness and guidance. And in the context of this message, I feel that you're being guided to sharpen it, to spend more time in meditation, to really start to hone this powerful guidance that we all have intrinsically and sometimes we have to make a deliberate um, choice to tap in and use it so that's what I'm thinking of it's quite interesting because when you when you pull cards from different decks you sometimes get a repeating message as you'll see in a moment um, the second card the energy card was all about the fifth chakra so here again I feel that you know you're being guided to listen to your intuition and speak with love and certainty because perhaps some of you watching this video may find that these words are being stuck in your throat and you're not quite sure how to express them and right now what I understand is that we have um, the planet Mars in the house of Gemini for seven months Gemini is definitely the house of communication Mars is that planet that does things impulsively sometimes very quickly a lot of action involved so you may find yourself speaking these words suddenly without too much thought or tapping into intuition so the universe is guiding you just to you know perhaps slow down and don't get sucked into that powerful energy that's going around for the next seven months and this is the card that was finishing off your message the high priestess you know, this is a, a woman who is very in tune with her, um, with herself and her abilities, and she's very intuitive and spiritual and very connected to the higher realms. And I feel that if you can spend some time focusing or, or honing your intuition deliberately through meditation, um, speaking your truth from your from the heart. Um, this woman is also this energy is surrounding you to support you at this time and I feel that you will be able to move mountains you will be able to really you know step up and be a a sage a, a spiritual sage because you have all the gifts you have all of these elements within you now just a little bit more practice just a little bit more intention setting and wow force to be reckoned with in a loving way Okay, so number two, or the middle choice. This is um, an interesting mix of cards. Here we go. So your 
chakra card is the one, this is lovely, it is faith, having hope, you know, knowing that you are supported, you know, miracles do exist, and tapping into your spirituality. You see these hands opening up and receiving all of the guidance that the universe can offer you. Now here comes the next card. There's an attachment to something earthbound here that is keeping you from accessing that hope and that faith. Um, and uh, maybe a generalization here, I'm not sure, but I, I feel that there's something that happened early on in your, your youth, you know, late childhood, early teenage years that may have, um, say, traumatized you, but may have had an influence on the way that you see the world right now. And it's up to you to ask for clarity and see if you can do some inner work to release that. Um, and part of that releasing is to give some sort of forgiveness for this event. And yeah, that, that's something, you know, that people splurt and say, yeah, just forgive, forgive. That's not an easy thing to do when you're immersed in the pain of some event that has got you where you are today. So I suggest slowly, slowly, write a letter. I love this, I love this suggestion. It came to me many, many years ago. Um, you write a letter. You don't have to give it to the person or, or the or write it to the event that happened. Maybe it was um, a car accident that you were in. And just put down on paper the pain that that event had caused you and why you feel that you're still hanging on to it. And then under the next full moon, burn it. Create some sort of little symbol. Um, intention setting to release it and give it some forgiveness and watch it just float off into the ethers and let it go. Again, people say, just let it go. Yeah, sure. It's easy for those who aren't involved to say that. And I understand that, you know, sometimes it's only time. Um, personal story, I got bitten by a dog 14 years ago now. And I still, to this day, every time I see a big dog, I, I, I just clunk, um, get tense. And it takes me back to that event. So I understand it's easier said than done, but with some some practice and forgiveness and, you know, intention setting, not so powerful, um, it may lessen the pull that it has on you at the moment. <clears throat> okay. Now, choice number three. Beautiful. So you are being guided to get outside and do some grounding. You know, there's some really healing power from walking across grass with no shoes, immersing your hands in soil, planting something, nurturing something so that it grows. Um, you know, really, I think there's going to be something very healing for you through that process. Um, I feel that there's some sort of event right now that has got your attention and it's pulling you in one direction and the angel of balance has appeared to say, wait up, um, find some balance in this event, you know, try not to give it all of your attention, find another project or something that you can um, distract yourself so that you can find or introduce um, <laughs> computer froze. I don't know how that's going to appear in the video, but anyway, um, yeah, you've been required to introduce a little bit more balance. And as Abraham Hicks taught me many, many years ago, when you don't give something your full focus, it doesn't have that much pull on your ability to um, to manifest. Because if we constantly think about something, and it's really got our attention, we're just inflaming it, we're making it bigger. Now that's great if it's something that you're really passionate about and you want to create something, you know, the more energy you give something, the better. But if it's conversely, if it's not going to be taking you down a, a positive path, someplace where you are going to be delighted when you get to the end of the road, so to speak, you need to find a distraction. And here's the other card, the final card in your message, 
is the truth card. So I would like you, similar to choice number two, to sit down and just ask the universe. I feel that there's um that you're a little bit confused, perplexed about an event, and you're not quite sure what is real and what's the truth. Ask for clarity, and the truth shall be revealed to you. So there are the three messages for this week. I'd love to hear how they resonate for you. If you leave a comment on the YouTube video, please I'll randomly select a, um, a person to share a personal message with next week. Um, if you are not on my Facebook page, I invite you to join me there because that's how I will pass that message on to you. Um, yes, if you, um, I'd like to actually get this channel back up and running again like it was five years ago. I have now um, created space so that I can actually devote some more time to it. So I'd be very grateful and honoured if you would like to join me along the ne this path for the next few years. Okay, thank you everyone. I look forward to sharing another message with you next week. <laughs> Bye for now.